Men who chart new horizons rely on history books to preserve their names and qualities. Columbus, Cook, Magellan, da Gama. Among horses, the spirit of the pioneers endures more tangibly. The assets they need to conquer new frontiers, toughness and durability, both physical and mental, can be passed on to the next generation as a genetic legacy. Phoenix Reach helped to take international racing to a new level. For many years, the adventures of horses like Teleprompter, even Vintage Crop, had an exotic, outlandish flavor. But Phoenix Reach was one of the first true international citizens of the turf. He routinely contested elite races against elite horses at every point of the compass. He raced in seven different countries and won grade one prizes in Canada, Dubai and Hong Kong. In short, he was jet set. But the pivot of his racing career was Britain, and his retirement to the national stud gives breeders the chance to build upon the same foundations of physique and temperament that underpinned a landmark global career. It was all there from the very beginning. Phoenix reaches by a champion juvenile out of a half-sister to an arc winner. At two, he was precocious enough to run a multiple stakes horse to a head first time out on fast ground over seven furlongs. Inside the final furlong, North Dancer gets the Phoenix Reach with less than 50 yards to go. It's North Dancer and Phoenix Reach. North Dancer near side makes a winning debut from Phoenix Reach. At three, he graduated from an easy maiden success straight into stakes company, winning the Group 3 Gordon Stakes with what the Racing Post saluted as a classy effort and a game one too. Recovering smoothly when hampered, he saw off a Dewar challenge from high accolade in a photo. Phoenix reaching the noseband of danger and Hawk Flyer, a big run down the outside from miles back. They run down inside the final quarter mile. Phoenix reach heads gold medalist. Here's Hawk Flyer coming there strongly in the hands of the champion jockey. High accolade is now pulled out. Salsalino also thrusts home with Let Me Try Again. Hawk Flyer on the near side of Phoenix reach. High accolade with a late bid. Salsalino going for the daring run up the far rail. Phoenix reach battles back to Hawk flyer, Phoenix reach very gamely, high accolade, a last lunge, Phoenix reach just from high accolade. They're off in the Patterson Canadian International. He had swiftly shown that he could swim in the deep end. The following month, given a race with more dimensions than mere endurance, Phoenix reach reversed form with Brian Baru to win his first grade one prize, the Canadian International at Woodbine. Starting the punch for home now. Soon going strongly, he had to wait for a run, but finished the job with what already seemed a familiar combination of acceleration and determination. As they come to the final furlong, and Brian Baru, the group one winner, unleashing a furious kick. It's Macaw. Brian Baru on the outside. Phoenix Reach has some room. Golden Mill is right there. Phoenix Reach comes away with the lead, and they're coming down to the line. Phoenix Reach, in a gallant display, wins the Patterson Canadian. From now on, he would only step into the ring with the heavyweights. Through thick and thin, he would only trade punches with champions. And the following season, he would claim another belt coveted the world over. The Hong Kong Vars had drawn a field from seven different countries to Sha Tin. It contained six Group 1 winners. But the class and bravery of Phoenix Reach proved unique. With the Japan run under his belt, he was, you know, 110% fit and a reasonably fresh horse in the autumn. And uh, Martin gave him a terrific ride that day. He sat him a little bit closer to the pace than we had done in the past. And, he took it up with a furlong to go and was never going to get caught. 450 out, Warsan goes to the lead. Very quickly, Phoenix Reach pulls out. Beethoven battles hard. Super Kid gets through. Simonis picks up. Coming through, sights on gold. Frankie pushes out. Picks up, responds. Valion Chante has to give it two. Phoenix Reach darted to the front, but very quickly coming after it. Sights on gold has a length to make up, but chases hard. Sights on gold must lift. Phoenix Reach fighting hard, holding a half length break, and Phoenix Reach gets the money half a length sight on gold second. His durability and toughness and appetite for competition was exceptional. He was a remarkably durable horse and a, and a very talented one. On his next start, Phoenix Reach confirmed himself as one of the most accomplished thoroughbreds in the world by adding his third grade one prize, the Dubai Shima Classic. Once again, he faced a cosmopolitan field. Once again, it was grade one form from top to bottom. And once again, Phoenix Reach was equal to all comers. It's one of the best group ones in the, in the world, really. It was a big race. And um, we had a bad draw that day, so we had to, again, do something different. And um, I dropped him across from a wide draw. 
and sat right near the back on the, on the rail and fortunately all the gaps came and he was good enough to take them and you know it, it was a real good effort for to win from, from right out the back and uh, he showed a real good acceleration. Those in his wake included Grade 1 winners of the Canadian International, the Arlington Million, the Durban July and the Gulfstream Park Breeders' Cup Handicap, not to mention from Europe runners-up in the Arc and the Judmont International. We were sat last, turning into the straight, and uh, but you know, all credit to the horse, he showed a terrific turn of foot, passed I think the whole field in the straight, and had four or five Group One winners, including Collier Hill and uh, Cherry Mix, in in behind him, and he he was really probably at his best that day. Phoenix reaching to the clear, gives chase to Rascala. Gray is in on the outside with powers caught. It's Phoenix reach going up to Rascala at the 100 metres mark. Phoenix reach takes the lead, draws a length and a half in front of Rascala. Collier Hill is third. Phoenix reach. Phoenix reach wins the Shahima Classic two lengths. By this stage, the Racing Post was calling Phoenix reach a globe-trotting phenomenon and he went on to prove himself no less effective over 10 furlongs when burning off Alexander Goldron in the Singapore Airlines International Cup, drawing three lengths clear of that multiple grade one winner, only to be cruelly ambushed by Mummify in the final strides. Phoenix Reach went to Apollo, Mummify, Alexander Gold runs going for the rails, Mummify for Australia is coming after Phoenix Reach, then Alexander Gold run, it's Mummify on the outside just in front of Phoenix Reach, and Mummify's going to win it, Mummify for Danny Nikolic and Lee Friedman, by a half a length, Phoenix Reach second, Alexander Gold runs third. He never gave up in his races, Phoenix Reach, he was always... Uh, always battling and giving 100%, and you can ask no more for in a horse. In all, Phoenix Reach amassed just short of £2 million in prize money. He's by the Dewhurst winning sire of a 2,000 guineas winner from the family of Carroll House. He showed his form in four consecutive seasons on firm ground and soft. But his defining assets cannot be so easily measured. How can you gauge heart, spirit, ardour? It's very difficult to keep a horse uh, at its peak uh, for a whole year, but you can see what he did come from Canada to Hong Kong to Dubai and Singapore. It takes a very rare horse to do that. Few horses can have had an appetite for racing as restless as that of Phoenix Reach. And who knows, perhaps his greatest adventure has only just begun. He was from the first crop of Al Harth, who's since um, established himself as a, as a top-class sire in Europe, out of a half-sister to an art winner in, in Carroll House. So he's from a, you know, wonderful family, really. And I don't think there's, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't um, make into a, into a high-class stallion.